What's up, DubSpot online community? My name is Adam Partridge, and I'm an instructor here at DubSpot, and I produce under the name of Atropolis. In this tutorial, we are going to explore the aspects of pitch modulation. The goal of this tutorial is to provide a helpful technique that you can incorporate in your own productions. To help understand an aspect of pitch modulation, we are going to recreate the pitch movement that we hear in the track Look yellow, At Me Now G. by Chris Brown. Yellow bottle sipping, yellow Lamborghini, yellow top missing, yeah, yeah. The first thing I would like to do is identify the aspects that attribute to this sound. In this file that is available for download, we have two groups. We have the create group and we have the answer group, where the answer is provided. So let's first take a listen to the original sound. As we can hear, we have kind of like a sine wave. It's very smooth and round. The pitch is moving up and down. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. And let's just quickly talk about the audio processing. We have some saturation that get that little distortion that we hear, a reverb, and maybe a really short delay. The goal of this tutorial, we will not be focusing on the audio processing. We are only focusing on the pitch movement. And this is the recreated version. So now let's figure out how we can help recreate the sound using pitch modulation. So I'm gonna go over to the create section, measure one, and the create group, and I'm gonna solo this group. Above we have the original sound, and below we have the MIDI notes that we're gonna be working with. The device we're gonna be using to recreate this sound is going to be an operator synthesizer, which is located in the instrument device. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into my MIDI track. Now that my operator is here, I only have to do slight modifications to get the movement that I want. So I'm going to go into the global menu over here, and I want to modify the range of my pitch bend from 5 semitones to 12 semitones. And I could simply do that by clicking on that parameter and typing in with my keyboard or moving it with my mouse. Now that my pitch range is set, I want to go into my piano roll and I want to access my envelope menu. For now, my pitch bend is selected. And this is where I'm going to be modifying this envelope to move the pitch the way I want according to the original track. When I hit play, it's going to sound rather boring. So let's bring it to life. The first thing I want to do to help with the process is I want to lower my BPM to 80 BPM so I can really hear the slow movement and identify where I want to start changing the direction of my envelope. Now the next step is going to be a series of just kind of moving this line around and entering these points and moving the line up and down. I don't want you to necessarily recreate this exactly. I would much rather you rely on your own ears and use your eyes and your ears to kind of move these to get into the general range. A helpful tip as well is to work with a 16th note grid to help see where those pitch points are changing. So I'm going to quickly go through this. The first part I hear is we have this descending octave. So I'm going to bring this up. Remember the range is 12 semitones up, 12 semitones down. So I'm going to go an octave up. And I can see at the second 16th note point, it starts moving downward. So I'm going to take this point. And this is why it helps to have it really slow. And I can hear at this second, at this second point, the note is going upward just a little bit. So I can kind of match this a little bit more clearly using my eyes and my ears trial and error. It's just kind of moving it up and down and seeing what fits right. If you're having a hard time identifying whether it's going up or down, try to imitate it with your mouth and it might help the process. So let's move over here. And once we get that general shape, maybe just add a little reverb for fun. So I'm going to go to my audio effects, locate my reverb, and let's put it back to the original tempo, 146. And hear them back to back. This is the original. This is the recreated. 
yeah, I might want to kind of get a little bit more close to it. I went through it rather quickly. Again, the goal isn't to necessarily want to recreate this exactly. Yeah, we can go for it. It's more about getting comfortable with working with pitch envelopes and working with the pitch bend. And if you're struggling with this process, remember we have the answers down here. We can take a listen. You know, this is something that I worked with and I went through the same exact process. I put a little bit more time into kind of really listening to it. Maybe I can slow it down even more to get it more exact. But we have the answers over here. So if you feel like you're struggling, you could come over here and take a look. For more DubSpot tutorials like this, check out DubSpot.com. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.